Hallelujah. We are back live here. We are back live here. Network try to distract and to disturb us or distract us. But the power of God is bigger than the spirit that controls network. Okay? So right now I am going to release five prophetic declarations for anointing. For anointing for favors. Are you ready to receive it? We are just here for five minutes. Okay? And then we are we are going to go and be here some other time. Are you ready to receive an anointing for favor? God is good. So right now, Please, can you share this live video and welcome other people to join us? I don't know who the Holy Spirit is asking me to pray for. I want to pray for someone. Let us welcome the Holy Spirit before we go ahead. I can feel the presence of God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. I can feel the presence of Archangel Michael, Archangel Black, and the Archangel Black, and the Archangel Black, and the Archangel Black, and the Archangel I can feel the, end, the presence of him, of my ancestors, the ancestors of Jesus, the ancestors of Moses, the ancestors of Abraham, the ancestors of Elijah. I welcome you, God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. We pray here with life, we pray this presence with life, with life. We feel the presence with your power. We feel your this presence with your might. We feel 
Paul of Peter declare the release of an item for favors. Who declare the release of an item for favors? Who declare the release of an item for favors? Who decree as we go ahead, O Lord, to spend five minutes here, O Lord, to hear your word and to release favors. That your favor will be released upon the life of your children that will say this video. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 You welcome your presence, Lord. 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 You welcome your presence, God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. You welcome the presence of Akhan, Yamaika, and the Devil, and the Rafa, and the Rafa. You welcome the presence of Most High God. You welcome your presence. They will whom Adonai, King of Glory, Prince of Kings. You welcome your presence. 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 Thank you, Lord. Stand up. Jehovah. We welcome your presence, Lord. Let us open our Bible to the book of Psalm 23. So if you are seeing this video, if you are seeing this video, I would like everyone that will see this video to always read Psalm 23. So when we are small, including our primary and, and high school days, so every day we read Psalm 23. But I have been reading Psalm 23 all this while. But for some few days ago, I was spending time praying, and then the Holy Spirit asked me to open my Bible to the book of Psalm 23, and then go through it, read it to understand what it actually means. Because all this while I have been saying, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Okay, that, okay, and I will play surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall read the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So when the Holy Spirit instructed me to go back and read Psalm 23 using Good News Bible, then I begin to understand, I begin to realize that this is a psalm that everyone has to declare on their life every day, especially in the morning. This should be your morning declaration for you. This should be your morning declaration in order to conquer the day. Because this Psalm 23 released almost all the blessing we need for the day. Maybe we can go ahead to read it. It says, The Lord our shepherd. I am reading with Good News Bible. That was the Bible, the version of the Bible I used. And then I begin the Holy Spirit begin to interpret a different understanding to it to me. Begin to release the deeper understanding of it to me. And then he said, The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything I need. He lets me rest in fields of green grass. Do you know what green grass means when it comes to spirituality, when it comes to spiritual things? Green has to do with love. Green has to do with money. Green grasses has to do with you are connecting with nature. You are connecting with nature, you are connecting with Mother Earth. I don't know how to explain it. When you are into spirituality, not religion, and then when you begin, the Holy Spirit begins to inter and interpret what these Bible verses mean, you will have a different understanding to it. Let's go ahead and read. He said, and leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. When the, when the Bible talks about fresh water here, it talks about river spring. I don't know if you know the spiritual significance, um, significance of water because when you read in the bible when jesus christ was baptized in the um, in the river uh, in river jordan he said and leads me to quite pools of fresh water do you know what fresh water can do for you for example maybe maybe i'm talking of natural waters natural body of waters like stream and pool um, and stream rivers ocean but i don't mean you have to go and enter into ocean no so what he's talking about is when you go to this train, for example, when you're having headache, when you're feeling that the world is ending, if you're able to see a stream or a river, I would want you to go, just go there, remove your clothes, and take the water to shower. You will see that all those worries, all those pain, all those um, overload of thoughts will go out. Because these are the natural things that God created. God created it for you and I to use. 
but because religion has clouded our eyes and our understanding, we see everything to be evil. So we are going still going to go ahead to read and understand. And then you can as well read the, the water from the river for healing. And said, He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right path as he has, as he has promised. God gives you new strength. Every day when you wake up, you need the strength of God to continue the day. That is why you need the strength of God to really to receive favor. And then when the Spirit of God said to me, "You have favor in you," so I have so the so the Spirit of God is also saying to you, "Adieu, you have favor in you. There is favor in you. There is favor in you." I want you to begin to activate that spirit of favor. Begin to activate that grace for favor. Begin to activate the anointing of favor because you have to declare when you declare when you when when you command there is power in your mouth when you say ah nobody is favoring me you have to see that nobody will favor you but when you begin to declare I am favored I am blessed you are commanding that power you are commanding the spirit of God that protects your favor to be released upon your life you are commanding the grace that that holds favor the anointing for favor we are releasing upon your life our mouth. It's our life. You you have you create your life. We are the creator of our life. You create your life by speaking upon your life, by believing in yourself, by speaking good things of you. Even though everything might be if the world has not been the best since this year. But see, God is God. But still, when you continue to speak good of yourself, this coronavirus has nothing on me. No matter what happens, I'm, I am for God. No matter what happens, I am favored. No matter what happens, God must still keep on providing for me. When you begin to release this constant declaration, you, you before you know it, your life starts moving in that direction. Your life starts moving in that direction. For the prophets and prof, um, for, for, the, for the people, the, um, the people that God called, when God calls you and calls you and you begin to you to an extent you begin to realize there is power in your words. You be, when, God, when God begins to take you into the um, spiritual things and begin to teach you things of the spirit, you begin to understand how things work. That you are the one that will command this mountain to go, and the mountain has to obey you because you have the power. Because God gave you the power of the whole world upon man. God created the heavens and the earth and gave us everything in need to control. So it is your duty to control, to control, to declare upon your life, to speak out what you want to begin to happen in your life. And then um, the book of Psalm 23 says in verse 3, He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right path as he has promised. When you begin to understand this pra- these promises of God over your life, that every day God is going to give you new strength, that God has already directed your path. All you need to do is to follow. All you need to do is to surrender. Surrender to the power of God. Surrender to that grace that is speaking upon your life. Surrender. He leads you through the right path. Even if I go through the deepest darkness, I will not be afraid, Lord. This year, 2020, coronavirus and the world being going into quarantine, stopping. We ha- the world has gone into the deepest darkness, but we as the children of God, we shouldn't be afraid because no matter what happens, no matter how the, the rain falls, there must be sunshine. That is the word of God. But when you look up in God, when you think nothing is going to happen, things begin to fall apart. But when you begin to command, I am anointed for favor. 2020, the year has not ended. My life must be better, even though it didn't start that good. But before the end of this year, there must be a miracle. I must receive favor. What kind of favor do you need? Begin to declare that favor. For you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect me. God is with you. Whether you believe it or not, God is with you. God is with you. God is with you. The Spirit of God is with you 247. 
whether you recognize it or not, whether you believe that you, that God, whether you believe it that God is with you or not, no matter what you believe in, no matter your religion, no matter your denomination, no matter what it is that you serve, God, it is God who created everything on earth. It is God you, who created you and I. That same spirit of God is in your life. The only thing you need, you need to begin to acknowledge those spirits. Begin to acknowledge the spirit of God. You are the mighty man in battle. Begin to acknowledge those spirits. Because when you acknowledge that God is with you, God, the presence of God is in your life, begin to manifest more and more. Shatalaba. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect me. Standalaba. You prepare a banquet for me where all my enemies can see me. Have you been battling of um, gossipers? Have, do you have mockers? God is saying to you that he has prepared a banquet for you where all your enemies will see you. We are those people that are shaming you, we shame you no more. We are those people that are you where your, mark, your mockers. We will not be those that are supporting you. We will not be your fans and your supporters. God is preparing that table for you. And I am praying for you. God has prepared that table for you. I am not speaking into existence. I am not saying that God is preparing it. God has already prepared it. It is for you to step into that banquet that God has prepared for you. You welcome me as an honored guest. God has prepared that table for you. And as well welcome you as his honored guest. That is the power of God. That is the power of faith. That is the power of when you are having faith. Because you cannot be anointed with, for favor without faith. Even though you are anointed for favor and you have no faith. Trust me, to an extent, you might fall out. But because you cannot see that favor yet. You, can, you cannot see that faith yet. You cannot see that anointing for favor yet. And you believe in it. And you know that, yes, it is happening for me. Yes, my God is good. Yes, the power of God is upon my life. Yes, I am anointed for favor. Yes, God will never leave me. Yes, the Spirit of God is still over me. Yes. And the Lord says, you welcome, He welcomes you as an honored guest. I want you to know. That as the Lord has prepared this table for you, He has already welcomed you as His honored guest. Those that have walked past you in the past, I am praying for you now that right now they will never walk over you. Before they get access to you, they will have to submit a letter of an application to get for you. That is the kind of anointing for favor we are looking for. We are releasing today. If you can share this video, I am going to appreciate it. That is the type of anointing for favor that God is releasing in your life. That is that same grace of anointing of favor that God is releasing in your life. And then he said, I'm filling my cup to the brim. God has filled your cup to the brim. I don't know if someone is getting what I'm saying. God prepared a banquet for you in the presence of your enemies. He, he also welcomed you as an honored guest and fill your cup to the brim. I am praying for you. In this remaining four months of 2020, something must happen in your life. As I am releasing an anointing for favor over your life, favor must follow you. People must favor you. There must be a new testimony. There must be a new turnaround. A new grace is locating you. A new miracle is locating you. A new favor. I know a lot of people are looking for financial favor. And I am releasing my hand. Unison with the angels of God. Unison with Akan Jamaica, Akan Jebra, Akan Jerida, Akan Jerafa. Unison with the host of angels of God. Unison with my ancestors, with my angels, with the angels of God over my life. And I am releasing that financial favor upon your life. Receive that financial favor. Receive that financial favor. Receive that financial favor. It is happening for you, child of God. I only want you to have faith and believe. And said, I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life. We know that God's goodness and, and love will be with us all our life. And his house will be our home as long as we live. The goodness of God and the love of God is with us all our life. I am telling you right now, you have to start acknowledging those 
those the favors of God. Begin to acknowledge the power of God over your life. Begin to acknowledge the goodness of God in your life. God is so good to me. God, you are wonderful. God, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you, Jesus, for that favor. <coughs> thank you, my God, for that miracle. Thank you, Adonai, for a new turnaround. Thank you for a miracle in my life. He said, I know that your goodness and love will be with me all my life. And your house will be my home as long as I live. God's house will be your home as long as you live i am praying for someone i want to release an anointing for favor and then we are going to be i want to pray for someone if you can raise your hand up all. he is jehovah he is Adonai. he is elohim holy god can bless you right now the holy spirit is asking me to release an anointing for favor upon your life and i am here to declare that anointing releases receive anointing for favor receive all round favor receive all round breakthroughs how you wanted to i am praying for someone as long as you are here before the before the ending of the next four months before the ending of this month Somebody must favor you. I did release anointing for favor upon your life. I release favor upon your life. Receive favor. Receive favor. Receive favor. Receive favor. I call out the angels of God are in charge of favor. And I begin to receive, release your favors. I begin to release your favor. 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 God is doing something. He's all over me. Oh. He's moving me around. He's moving me around. He's moving me around. He's all over me. Yeah. He's moving me around. Hey, the Holy Ghost power is moving me around. He's all over me. Yeah. He's moving me around, he's moving me around, he's moving me around, he's all over me, yeah. he's moving me around, the Holy Ghost power is moving me around, he must alabalaba, he must he Emmanuel, Emmanuel. I am praying for someone who lives a mighty for favor. Receive a mighty for favor. Receive a mighty for favor. I am going to be here. I am about to live. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, in the name that is above the other name, in the name of God, the Creator, the Creator of heaven and earth. I release your mighty for favor. I release your mighty for favor. I release your financial favor. I release your breakthrough favor. All the kinds of favor you are looking for, child of God. I am, I am releasing it upon your life. God is releasing it to you through me. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. God is receiving it. He's releasing it through me. Receive it. Receive a mighty for favor. Receive the power of favor over your life. It is well with the child of God. 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 It is well with the favor has been released upon your life. Begin to proclaim it. Begin to speak it upon your life. Because there is something, there is a difference between religion and then you are, as you have received this, as I have released that for you, you begin to command it. You begin to command it. I receive my favor. I have received my anointing for favor. I am favored. I am favored. I am favored for breakthrough. I am favored for financial blessing. I am favored for a miracle. I am favored for a turnaround. I release those upon your life. Begin to claim it. As you do so, God has blessed you. Amen. And so before I go, I am still your sister, your friend, and your spiritual mother, Prophetess Queen Oluchuku Elendro. And so with this, I am, and we are here at Prophetic Place of God Ministry. Okay? So you can as well join our ministry, be a part of what God is doing in the life of His people, and it is well with you. Amen. Remain blessed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. God bless you. Please don't forget to like our Facebook page, Prophetic Place of God Ministry. Be a part of what God is using us to do, infusing me to do. And then I love you all. Remain blessed. You are a my type of favor. I want you to say amen. If I can see someone, I can prophesy to you.
before I go, I am going to prophesy to someone. Just one person, I am going to prophesy and go. I am going to prophesy to someone, just one person, then I will be up. If you would like me to prophesy to you, just say hi so that I can get your name and I'll prophesy to you. And God will speak for you. Your name is Lord. Emmanuel. Your name is God. I want to prophesy to someone. If you can say hi, tell me your name. Let me see what God has to say to you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my God. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Prince of Peace. Thank you, Eshadai. I pray for you, Lisa. You are anointed for favor. You are anointed for favor. Receive that anointing for favor. Receive your favor. Receive financial favor. Receive favor for miracle. Favor for breakthrough. Favor for turnaround. Favor for liberation. Favor for upliftment. It is well with you. It is well with you. It is well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So right now, I'll be leaving. Please like our Facebook page and share this live video. I will be here with you once more. Sometime soon. Remain blessed. Bye bye. God bless you all. It is well with you. Amen. Who